Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Well, today I had one plan in mind to review the cheapest ever balloon garland that I've ever found on Amazon and uh, things do change really quickly over here. I paid $8.69 per kit. I purchased two. When I pulled up that listing again, prices went up and now you would pay $12 and uh, 39 cents per kit. So it's not the cheapest anymore. So I have to rethink the whole thing. I bought a whole bunch of other things on top of those two kits. And today I'll be bringing to you another unicorn set up with a whole bunch of other things included with those kits. Not exactly what I thought to do today, but I hope it's going to be one amazing looking setup so everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video so go ahead and check it out and without any further ado let's go here is what i'm planning to use for today's video everything that you see here was bought from amazon let's break this down one by one two kits two air walking unicorn balloons one over here and one in this corner then i have two heads unicorn heads garland right here with tassels and these cool looking unicorns right there very pretty and then simple tissue paper tassels as well whatever i will be using on top of all of this i will let you know throughout the video also everything that you see here will be linked and listed in the description under the video let's open one kit up and see what we have inside see here we have colorful balloons gold confetti balloons balloon tying tool balloon strip and glue dots also these hooks i don't like these hooks i already damaged my walls with these kind of hooks from a different balloon garland kit i will never use them again you can put them in storage and keep them just in case somewhere maybe you know out of the blue you would need a hook for an outdoor like a brick or something i don't know if they will hold but I used the command hooks instead and I love my command hooks they will be linked and listed in the description under the video if you don't take your command hooks properly according to instructions they will damage your wall if you take your command hooks properly by instruction they work perfectly so let's find this listing on Amazon and see how the seller breaks these balloons down in sizes took a screenshot of my order history and this is um, my kit i purchased two each kit was 869 in the description they tell us that this kit will include 82 pieces premium latex of balloons 18 inch sky blue yellow tiffany pink 12 and 5 inch balloons in light blue yellow light purple pink tiffany blue 12 inch gold confetti balloons and the rest of the stuff i showed you like glue dots and balloon tying tool and things like that so let's construct this or these balloon garlands and see what we're gonna have Alrighty guys, I am ready to blow all of my balloons. As you can see, I changed rooms. I will be going for this mental kind of like setup thing. Today, I will be building this balloon garland with my balloon strip that is included in the kit. I will be blowing my balloons individually and I will be using this balloon tying tool to tie my balloons. As soon as you're done blowing your balloon, press it against the floor to give your balloon more rounder shape and then tie it and you're good to go. construct our balloon garland i don't know if you can see but this strip has two holes bigger hole little opening and smaller hole so we're starting to insert our balloon into a bigger hole make sure your knot is completely through 
the bigger hole, slide your balloon through the opening into a smaller hole and let it go. Holds really well and that's basically all you need to do to construct this balloon garland. I am inserting my balloons on one side only. Personally, I really don't see any difference if you alternate sides or just insert your balloons on one side. If you'll see your balloons are starting to pop out out of your strip, that means uh, just skip a hole, give your balloons more room to settle and breathe because they're kind of like um, pushing each other out. They're way too close together. That's all you guys. Let's build the rest of our balloon garland. I will be leaving my 18 inch balloons and 5 inch balloons at the side of the strip and I will fill in spaces with them at the very end when I'll construct my base. So I'm working with 12 inch balloons only right now. garland is ready now I would like to try to feed those balloon garlands which I don't think it's gonna turn out but I will try to feed them through my metal columns and we'll see what's gonna happen I'm not feeding my balloon garland through my column because uh, it's impossible with balloon strip. Balloon strip doesn't hold your balloons uh, so tight enough. So when I pull on my balloon strip, all the balloons are starting to pop out and it's a mess. So I literally just press my balloon garland against one of the corners of my column and it holds pretty well. If you're doing this for a party or for a client, take some fishing line and literally tie your balloon strip to your frame. Let's quickly fill in spaces with the remaining of our balloons and then we'll go and we'll blow our second kit up. I am using glue dots to fill in spaces on my balloon garland. I will be using more than one glue dot per balloon because if you'll be using one glue dot per balloon, I guarantee you'll find balloons on the floor the next day. I've been there. So use at least two two glue dots per balloon just to make sure if you have a chance to use more per balloon use it i lost a few balloons while filling in spaces balloons simply popped after i tried to place glue dots on my balloons as you can see my floor is covered with confettis it happened to me before i don't know why balloons react to glue dots that way So now it's time to deal with our walk-in um, unicorn balloons and tassels and unicorn heads. For these balloons, I am using hand pump because all of the self-sealing balloons have this plastic insert in them. And when you will be using warm electric balloon pump, you guys, you can melt those plastic inserts and your balloons will start losing air little by little and eventually they will deflate so that's why i am using hand pump Okay, 
and i think you guys this is it i like what i see i don't want to add anything else i don't want to add any tassels because i think it would have been overboard i like the quality of these kits i really do i like the colors of them i like how they look i lost only one 12 inch yellow balloon that's all and these clear balloons they are not as clear as i would like them to be they are a little bit foggy and they blew into weird shapes so you really had to like push the air into balloons really in there to get a round balloon i had enough glue dots to fill in spaces on my garlands and yeah you guys this head over here it was actually a set with these two rainbows this head came with two rainbows as well i have them um, blown on the floor so yeah then this horse over here i really like the horse it's really easy to set up you don't have to construct a lot of things i had a second horse right here that i removed that horse you had to place each section of the horse separately on the body so the head was separate body the legs were separate hair were separate i mean everything was separate so this horse is so much better i will link this one in the description under the video overall i like everything that i see i think 12 dollars for this balloon garland is pretty good good quality balloons the only thing i don't like dislike a lot about these balloons that they stink that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well well this is it you guys this is what i have for you today this is my take on these two balloon garland kits with a whole bunch of extra stuff on top of them i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below i will try to help you out to the best of my abilities if you're new here what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and you guys i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye